do not deserve it But you took it all with your purchase So God, I will search for your purpose Hey everyone, it's Christine here. Welcome to Just Christina. And today, guys, I know you've been so excited about this. But we're going to be talking about how to acquire a U.S. tourist visa. And this is just for Filipinos. So if you're not a Filipino, you can go ahead and skip this video and watch my other videos. But if ikaw ay aking kababayan, did I say that right? Nakakayang Tagalog ko. <laughs> if kababayan kita and you want to acquire your own tourist visa for the USA, then please keep watching. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you can get notified of everything I post on here. By the way, guys, if you hear any background noise, pasensya na. I live in a neighborhood with like no space from the neighbors. So anyways, so the very first thing that you need in order to acquire your own U.S. tourist visa is yung Philippine passport nyo. You have to have a Philippine passport that's valid for at least six months or so. Otherwise, wala kang magagawa. If you don't have this document and if it's not valid for that long, at least, useless. Walang mangyayari sa'yo, they won't let you do anything, no matter how hard you try. And don't even try to bribe them because you'll easily be picked out in a snap. So once you have this passport, you have to pay the U.S. visa application fee. So guys, you will find it on this website that I linked down here. Um, you'll find all the details there, but just to let you know, it's going to be 160 US dollars. Bibigay nila sa yo yung information where you will pay for that visa application fee. That is a must to pay for the visa application fee, and that does not guarantee you na kapag nagbayad kayo niyan, makakapasa kayo. So, parang ano talaga siya? It's really a part of the step. It's you know, it's a risk to take, but it's all part of the process and you have to do it. Once you paid the 160 USD for the visa application, then you can start to fill out the DS-160 form. The DS-160 form will ask you questions about yourself, your background, finances, family, um, yung pagbisita mo doon, sinong pupuntahan mo, um, if there are any criminal records, and stuff like that. So it's just basically all about you. They want to know who you are. They want to know what your plans are, why you're visiting the U.S., and everything else. So kailangan alam nyo yung sagot dyan. You will find that still in that website that I have linked below. And answer them honestly. For people who have kind of like a criminal record in the past, I mean, it doesn't really have to be, you know, like, you don't have to be a killer, but kung meron ka namang criminal record in the past, kailangan mong sagutin honestly yon because you just can't lie. They're gonna find out anyway. So, tip ko lang sa inyo guys, once you start applying for the U.S. tourist visa and then filling out that form, you have to be very honest if you want to get your chance to get to the U.S. So, once you have your passport and then you have paid for the visa application fee and then you've filled out the DS-160 form, then you can schedule your appointment. Now, yung dati, kasi um, everybody knows na kailangan mong pumila dun sa embassy, like madaling araw just to be able to get in at that day or something like that. So parang paunahan and everything like that. Pero ngayon guys, you can't just, you know, do walk-ins anymore. You have to schedule an appointment through their website and that will be your basis of when ka pupunta dun. And if you you're if you're not able to schedule an appointment with them, they won't entertain you. So don't even try. No matter what your reasons are, you have to schedule your appointment. And then that will be your basis for when you will go. And then by then they will let you come in. And of course, next to that is your visa interview. Everyone will go through the visa interview, no matter who you are. Lahat talaga will go through the interview process because that will allow them to confirm your details kung ano yung sinagot mo dun sa DS-164 mo. And also, actually guys, dun nila kinikilatis kung talagang truthful ka sa answers mo. Some questions will be not included in the DS-164, but don't be scared because if you're just being truthful, you're applying for the U.S. tourist visa for the sake of just visiting, then wala kang dapat ikabahala. Um, I know there's a lot of like scary stories about, you know, what's gonna happen and stuff and how mean they can be, but guys, take it all off of your head. As long as you're honest, you have nothing to worry about. So just show up at the interview and I would suggest that you be there 
15 minutes before your interview time. The U.S. Embassy office is very well organized. My step-by-step -step process yan. So, hindi mo kailangan matakot when you get there and feeling like you'd be lost. So, they're gonna guide you. They're gonna tell you where to go, how to do it, and what you need to do. Um, higpit yung security don guys. So, don't bring anything that they don't allow you to bring inside. So, for example, earphones, smartwatches, gadgets, phones, even dummy phones, hindi po pwede. Um, I would suggest that you just bring your documents there and that's it. If you're going to be staying somewhere near or kung meron kang kakilala na maghihintay sa'yo sa labas during interview or someone will pick you up or anything like that, if you know your way back to your hotel or wherever you're staying at, mas okay na iiwan mo lang yung phone mo doon kesa iiwan mo doon sa meron kasi mga nag-offer outside the embassy na um, you can just leave your phone with them and then pay them, pero I would not really suggest that. So in my case, what I did was I left the phone at the hotel and yeah, I just word about that later but it was all good so again guys just bring your documents there and show up there don't do anything stupid of course so that's it guys those are the few easy steps on how to acquire a u.s tourist visa that is just the first step um union process that is how it's going to be done step by step in order so if you want to um, review all the steps you can just rewind this video and take notes if you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. I'll think more about what else I can share with you. Um, and dami kong isha shares in you guys, but I'm just doing my best with the time that I have right now, especially just coming back to the Philippines from the US and you know getting back to reality. So kalang kong mag super time management. But I hope that this video will help you. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe and keep in touch with me. I'll be willing to answer your questions down below with what I know. So thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.